Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Soham and today I'm reacting to the Attack of the Dead Men by Sabaton. And after reacting to Bismarck, I am absolutely hooked. I loved how much energy they brought. I loved the melody. I loved the rip-roaring solos. They just have so much power to their music and I'm excited to hear more. Judging by the title and judging by this, I guess, green uh, plume of smoke here, I don't know, we're gonna have something epic, something zombie-like potentially. Uh, I don't know what to expect, but I'm excited. I hope you are as well. Please hit that subscribe button. It does help me out a lot. And without further ado, let's get into it. Mmm. 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 Yeah. I already like it. Mmm. You hear these guitars in the back? Just right away, again, the energy, the guitars, I think they just know how to make a catchy riff because I'm right there. I'm right on the same page as them, like at the very first part of the song. I like the fact that Sabaton, compared to other bands, they kind of bring you in really quickly and they keep you at that like elevated energy level, at, at that energy state, you may say. And uh, I don't know, it's just a different flavor of music that I'm not typically used to. I feel like a lot of uh, American bands, there's a lot, maybe there's more dynamics in the music, and that's a good and bad thing, I think. Some people overdo it, and I think Sabaton here, they just like hit you right away, and they keep you there, and it's powerful, and it's just fun. I just always feel more energized listening to their music. And also some of you in the comments uh, mentioned in my previous reaction, the fact that if I just like watch all of these Sabaton music videos, I'll eventually learn the history of all of the wars of the world. Something to that effect. At least they're very good history teachers. And it seems to be the case here. They're teaching me a lot about this. O Ozewex, is that how I pronounce it? Yeah, I'm going to get that wrong. But yeah, anyways, let's keep going. I love this hype. Oh, that. I love that. Mm. Oh, here we go. Mm. 1915. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. Wow. Wow. <laughs> oh. 
Oh my god, I love this so much. I I love it. As exactly as you guys mentioned in the comments, their solos are amazing. They're Gary Moore inspired, which he's one of my favorite guitarists out there. I love his solos. They're always so emotional, so melodic, so fluid. Um, and then the history part of Sabaton here, I didn't, I couldn't tell beforehand whether or not uh, they were referring to World War II or World War One. So it's interesting that the chlorine gas uh, that they that the that was used was actually in World War One. I. I didn't know it was that uh, that early on. And it's crazy, right, to be just wearing cloths, fighting against armed soldiers, but actually at the end of that, you're winning, or at least you're able to sustain this gas. And now you're considered zombies and the Germans are retreating in literal fear. I mean, that's just out of a movie. And Sabaton gives it that oomph, that epicness that it does deserve. Really crazy good stuff here. I love that chord. That third chord. Oh my god, I love that so much. Yeah, please keep giving me recommendations for Sabaton. I, I actually love this band. They they have they have so many of the things that I like in music. Good guitar solos, epic music. I mean, it's very energized. It keeps me motivated. I feel like I could just listen to this at the gym and definitely hit a PR. And I don't know why, but I have just I have this just like overwhelming sense of like awe towards uh, the historical events that took place there. And I think that's part of the purpose of their music, right? Is to kind of highlight the bravery, the valor that a lot of these uh, soldiers, these kind of feats of war, uh, all of these things that happened around those times, uh, they're giving credence to those moments in history, trying to highlight and give knowledge to us, uh, us lay people in the uh, 2020s, right? So I think it's just really good. I am very surprised that this music is all coming from a Swedish group. I don't know why. I... I would have figured this type of music would have come from uh, Germany, uh, from like countries specifically involved in these wars, like Russia maybe, um, although Sweden is involved just to a lesser degree, uh, maybe even a US band. But no, I'm very happy that the Swedes are doing what they're doing because uh, they have all kinds of music out there, right? Swedish bands, they do a lot. There's death metal. There's that whole uh, core of music fans out there. Uh, and then whatever you would classify Sabaton is. I don't actually know. What is their classification? Is it like power rock? Power rock sounds right-ish. Let me know in the comment section down below. And please recommend me some more stuff. Hit that subscribe button too if you enjoyed my reaction. I hope you have a great rest of your day, everyone. Take care and peace.